Hi guys, I'm Monica Lazic and this is my very first video on YouTube and in it I'm going to show you how to draw female manga head front view. So as you can see I drew as from here. It's a basic shape of every manga head and every manga face you're ever you're ever going to see. So now I'm going to pause this video and to draw one more guideline and to explain what what is its purpose and as you can see now i drew a straight line with my ruler <laughs> okay and it will help us get the head shape right actually the chin if we can turn it like this and it will get uh, it will help us get the mouth and the nose right and the eyes of course and here i do another line with ruler and it that uh, these two lines will help us get the chin right now i'm not going to pause this i'm going to show you exact, uh, exactly how to draw the chin and I'm going to draw the chin it's not going to be fully pointy it's going kind it's kind of going to be a curved line something between pointy and curved but okay and it's going to be here somewhere really high up on the this actually yeah let me if i drew it here somewhere it will be kind of miniature person or a male face but i'm going for um cute manga girl style with a uh, huge eyes and small face now i'm going to draw it Now I'm going to pause the video again and show you where and how to draw the eyes. Now here I drew the space where the eyes will go, so it will go somewhere here. I kind of saw uh, people who draw, get, um, draw these two lines and then draw the eyes here or here or I don't know. And some of them make the chin will kind of be huge and then make the eyes be here under this circle but now i'm going to pause this and draw the eyes i'm not going to show you how to draw the eyes nor the hair because this will this is just the tutorial where i show you where to draw uh, to draw these face features so as you can see here I drew the eyes and the eyebrows so I drew the upper eyelid actually the full of the eyelid but this is not a high quality camera so it's hardly seeable or not seeable at all but uh, I wanted to say that always when drawing the eyes there is an unwritten rule or something that there should should always be always be one one eye space between the eyes now you don't have to follow that rule because you can draw it here one eye here or one here or whatever if it works for you and when drawing the eyes keep in mind you have to draw the upper eyelash you don't have to draw the lower eyelash you can draw you can draw the the fold of the eyelid, upper eyelid, and then highlights, 
and pupil and iris and never forget the eyebrows so now I'm going to draw the nose and the mouth now I draw a nose and a mouth there is nothing special and a lot to say about them the nose looks kind of like, uh, like um, the cat nose but again this is not a high quality camera and as you can see I left the, a little space between the two sides of the mouth and now I'm going to draw the hair and I'm going to pose this I said it already because I don't this is the video about about getting the face features right and now I'm going to draw it as you can see I didn't draw the the whole hair because I forgot the neck and the ears uh, I'm going to draw this the neck now I'm not going to pause it okay um, as you can see the width of it I don't know if I pronounce it right but um, the width of it is not very it's very small if you know what I mean and and this shoulder uh, shoulder here here is kind of covering it so I'm going to draw the indication of muscle there's a muscle here and you can draw but if I draw this and this it will be too much so I'm going to raise you can draw I'm going to raise this here and now the ears I will place them somewhere between the jaw and if that's how you pronounce it and somewhere between the lower lash line and there is going to be only one ear seeable because the other one here is covering it. So there is the ear. And I'm going to keep this ear be kinda cartoony, it's not going to be pretty realistic so Okay, now now I'm going to draw the hair and I'm going to pause it. Okay, now I finished up the hair and as you can see I erased, you know, that circle we drew in the beginning and this the separate lines. I erased it and I added I added a little highlight here. I saw it uh, I saw it from Mark Rilly. He has really, really awesome videos. If you didn't check it out, do it because it's really awesome. And I, I added a little shadow here because the head is in the, sh the shadow. And I forgot it. I'm going to add a shadow here too. chin is not in shadow okay that should be it thanks for watching and sorry for my awful English and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't al already and I am going to make more of this video these videos and see you later bye